Hi, this is RJ Williams, Jr. with Think Tank Products, aka The Pitchman. I am going to teach you today about a skill called the roll. There are two parts to the roll. There's building a tip, what we call it in the industry is a tip, that's your crowd, and there's also a roll. The roll is transitioning from one pitch to the next pitch while simultaneously cashing people out. This is your sales process. You start here with pulling people into your booth, you get them up there, and then you build rapport, you build that trust, and they get to know you a little bit. And this all happens within 30 seconds to a minute. And then you have to pitch the product, uh, tell a couple jokes, what have you, and then you get to your close, okay? And then you close them down and tell them the price. And then at the end, then you have to cash them out, which normally people don't even think about this process, but we are going to use it as a tool. This is an integral part of the process that allows you to roll. You don't really realize it, but these credit card transactions that take a long time are working to your benefit. Now this video I'm gonna show you is at a home show. I was selling the Easy Twist Kitchen Magician, which is a little kitchen gadget greater thing. And I knew this product extremely well, so well that I could say the pitch in my sleep. And that is a prerequisite for this skill. You have to have your pitch memorized, muscle memory. So if you don't know your pitch, memorize it, say it a thousand times, go to a couple shows and say it the same exact way. That's very important. Say it the same exact way, in the same exact order. Even if you need visual cues on your table, on your display, to make sure you have it muscle memory. Once you have it muscle memory, at that point, you can start this process. I'm going to take a two minute chunk and I'm going to break it down into a bunch of different segments and show you how to multitask. I'm going to effectively act like a dual core processor in a computer. I'm going to pitch to a crowd that hasn't heard the pitch yet and the ones that I just closed who are giving me their credit card, they are going to be cashing out so I'm gonna do both of these processes simultaneously. While that card is processing, while you're ripping off the slip, you can be talking and pitching. And then you hand it to them, they're signing, maybe you have a Dropbox for an email or some kind of list. The fresh people that just came up that haven't seen your product yet, they see people cashing out, and that's your trust, that's your rapport. You, you've just built rapport without actually doing anything with them. You haven't closed them, you haven't had to build that trust in the beginning. A normal sales process, you have to build that trust. In this process, with the role, you build that trust one time with your first group. As soon as that trust is built, then you get that second group that kind of wanders in and they're gonna see someone else transacting and they're gonna see that someone else trusts you. So th they don't need that reassurance. They know that someone else did it, so I'll do it, no problem. For stuff like garlic, chop off the hard ends of the cloves and it actually peels the clove for you just like a press. Leaves the skin inside the unit behind the blade. Really good for garlic. Plus there's a partition so you get two different kinds of foods for 50-50. I put cheese on one side and hard butter from the bridge on the other for baked potatoes. That's a cool tip. And by the same token, with this smaller blade, you can do Parmesan on one side and peppercorns on the other for your pizzas and pastas. That's what our Italian restaurants do. All right, that first segment was my pitch. I was rolling along through my day. People are watching, no big deal. The style that I was using was no big deal type stuff. I wasn't sensational, but wait, there's more. That wasn't the style that I was using. I might use that style at a fair or something where people really want that uh, sensationalism. This is something that's a little bit more casual. They want you to be local, boy next door, trustworthy, you know, small business owner, what have you. They want to know you and they want to know that you're being truthful. They're not buying it for the show. They're buying it for the, the product and they want to trust you. So the pitch was kind of casual. So is the close. And you're going to notice this close only takes me eight seconds. Tell them the price really quick and the deal. It's a buy one, get one free just until whatever time. That's my deal. And I already knew based on the lady that had been there, uh, she was already gonna buy, I could see it in her eyes. So what I did was I took her out of the crowd and I said, I take cash and cards. So buy one right now for $19.95 to get the second one for free. And I'll even include the free designer bag. <laughs> we do cash and credit. You can do credit? Yeah. I'll do two. In this segment, another second or two, you're gonna notice that once she agrees to buy, I say, 
we take cash and credit. She says, oh, you take credit? And I say, yes, we take credit. And at that point, she has agreed to buy. She's in the bag, no questions asked. She's going to buy. So I make a big deal out of it. I say, jokingly, just kind of fun, sold really loud. Okay. So, so. so that everyone around gets excited and they're like, what's going on over here? And if they don't see the credit card or the cash, they know that someone's buying one. Regardless of what's happening visually, they audibly can hear, someone's buying something over there. This is exciting. Let's go over there. Now, I'm not being sensational with my pitch or my clothes. That's just in between. I'm drawing attention to the fact that someone is buying. It's fun. You can be fun without being sensational. All right, this next segment, I'm going to immediately jump from the transaction back to calling a new crowd in. You can't see what I can see, but what I'm seeing from my vantage point is people coming up or passing by and they are reacting to my, my transaction, my, hey, sold. So they're walking up, they're kind of interested. So while I'm running her card or putting them in the bag, I'm getting my second crowd ready for pitch number two. And if you didn't see the whole thing, come on over, I got a 30 second demonstration. The fastest demo in the West. There you go. In this segment, I'm going to run the credit card, put them in the bag, and start my new pitch. So once again, muscle memory, this is very important. I know my pitch well enough to where I can start my pitch verbally while I'm doing something, putting them in the bagging up or the credit card. Once I'm done with that process, I can get up on the box and, and that's what we call it when you're on the platform talking in the pitch business. But when I get back up on the box after this transaction's done, I can really quick catch up. All you gotta do with this one, folks, is drop your food on in there and give it a quick twist well, for your egg salad. salad. Yeah, okay. absolutely. There you go. You can do egg salad, chicken salad, potatoes for your hash browns in the morning. I'll have to sign that in a second here. So I swipe that credit card. The machine's gonna do its thing for a few seconds. So then I jump up on the box and I start pitching the second crowd. Now, there are still some leftover people that aren't quite convinced from crowd number one, the first pitch, and they're probably just about ready to buy. They probably want to see the pitch again. Those are the ones that I'm going to go to right after the second close because they're ready. If someone stays for more than one pitch, 99 times out of 100, they're going to buy. Some people want to sit there for five pitches in a row and then they'll finally buy one. Some people just want to hear the price and then they give you the money because they see somebody else bought it. They hear the deals. Shoppers a lot of times are like lemmings. They will follow whoever's in front of them. They'll hop in line for your product not even hardly knowing what it is. They just want the deal. So your rapport building that you built into this process by drawing attention to the credit card swipe and saying sold shortens your close from a 30 second to a 60 second close, really convincing these people that this deal is really going on right now and that it's good and that you're the owner or whatever. Building that rapport, you can make this whole process so much faster. Uh, there's building the rapport in the beginning of the pitch and then there's the close at the end of the pitch. Both of those processes with this role become really tiny. So what I'm going to do in this segment is to swipe the card and then I'm going to hop back up on the box. I'm going to pitch this, this second pitch and I'm going to talk for a while and then I'm going to go back and forth until customer number one is completely transacted and then I have people that are ready to buy for the second one and the process rolls over. So when I step down and come back up, that's only a couple seconds. They don't even notice that I'm gone because I'm continuing my pitch. But people that do not have their pitch memorized have to stop, do the transaction, come back, by that time, everybody's gone. I like to start with eggs, comes out nice and fluffy, two-fingered operation, really easy to turn, and any kind of roast beef or chicken salad sandwiches, whatever you want. Crackers, croutons, dried breads, and seasonings allow you to bread right on top of your chicken or fish in the pan so you don't have to use a plastic bag for your shake and bake anymore. Graham cracker crust and meatloaf work the same way, but cheese is why most people buy this little guy now. I just use little pieces because I'm cheap and I'm going to pay for this all day. But at home, you can use up to a half a pound for your nachos, tacos, pizzas, and pasta. Pass it around the table, let everybody grate onto their own entrees. It's all dishwasher safe. So in this last segment, I seamlessly resume my demonstration and I throw in a, and just before the price, to keep crowd two around for the last part of the demonstration. And it reinforces the hotness of the deal. 
And the last part here, my favorite, just before the prize, is dessert. Oreos on one side, thank you so much for your business. Peanuts on the other for your blizzards, just like Dairy Queen. And homie can use frozen chocolate bars, M&M's, coconut. It even does shaved ice for snow cones for the kids or margaritas for the big kids. And it won't dull the blades because they're really nice stainless steel. Also, dishwasher safe. But then we drop our prize from 24... So in review of this concept of the tip and the roll, just to clarify and to go over things so you're straight on this. The tip is your crowd and that person in the front that's ready to buy and they buy, that is your tip. And then your role is the process of multitasking between your transaction, credit card or cash, putting things in the bag, and your second pitch or your third pitch or your fourth one. So that multitasking, rolling, is the process of going back and forth between your buyer and your prospect and you have to keep rolling that all day or else people will leave. So as long as you have your pitch memorized, muscle memory, this will catapult your sales to the next echelon. This is RJ Williams Jr. with Think Tank Products once again. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one.